The Turin Horse, final film from Hungarian director Belatar. It's a two and a half hour long drama that feels like being stuck in a purgatory for six months. It is, I think, a study on nihilism and the futility of life that ends up being so efficient in a way that it makes the viewer want to just crawl into a coffin and die. So the premise and the title are explained at the beginning of the film throughout a voiceover mon uh, monologue telling the story of how in 1889 Nietzsche was in Turin and he witnessed a horse being whipped by its owner. He threw himself in defense of the animal, he, he put his arms around its neck and then he suddenly collapsed and, and he Following that, he essentially got seriously mentally unwell. He spent the next 11 years of his life in bed where he ended up dying. And the narration ends with the sentence, of the horse, we know nothing. The film then imagines the horse, and more exactly the owner of that horse, going back home to his tiny farmhouse in the middle of nowhere amidst a raging storm and the man continues to exist there with his daughter and I say exist instead of live because it is an existence rather than a life. We watch them get up, dress themselves, boil and eat some potatoes, bring water from the well and then do whatever work needs doing uh, and then that repeats day after day. There's very little dialogue, very little characterization and even less of a story. Now the film has pretty has a pretty high score on IMDb, and I imagine it comes mostly from cinema freaks and critics who managed to find something meaningful in it. I have to say I failed to do that. I mean, I can see what the film was going for, but I don't think its methods make for something I would ever want to watch. There is one comparison which I can make, and I saw others make it as well, which is to Andrei Tarkovsky's uh, Stalker. Like Stalker, The Turin Horse is a film that moves at a glacial pace, requires your complete absolute patience and involvement in order to even begin to decipher it. However, in my opinion, while Stalker is certainly built around long takes, slow camera movements, prolonged sequences without any dialogue, I do think that at its heart there's always that philosophical debate between the three characters. The film never loses sight of that and continues to go back to those discussions. The Turin horse lacks that kind of heart. It feels very hollow. Um, there are two or three sequences with actual dialogue in here, but I found them to be so cryptic and muddy, not really making a concrete point, but rather enhancing the atmosphere of, of general hopelessness and, and, you know, sort of like the world ending. And for the record, there are some individual elements which I genuinely liked about the film. The main musical theme is great and the way it keeps returning enhances that idea of the unchanging boredom of existence. There are some interestingly framed shots here and there and even the central philosophical theme isn't bad on its own. It's just that the execution is so extremely exhausting which makes the, the film, the whole film, barely watchable in my book. Um, I, I think had it been a short film, around 15 minutes or so, I would have loved it. But at two and a half hours long, it's essentially torture.